Oh, this is what I'm talking about. I just came across this article about another tasker on TaskRabbit who's making over a hundred thousand dollars a year. And this brother hasn't even been on the platform for more than two years. Mm-hmm. He is already killing it. Now, I don't know if he watched one of my previous videos. I don't know if he is just, I don't know what. Well, you know what? We're going to find out what he has been able to do to make over $100,000 in a year on TaskRabbit. But before we dive into it, if you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm and it lets me know you guys do want me to keep making these videos. I know I took a bit of a break, but trust me, we get him back into the mix because I want to share some of the tips, the tricks, the game that I have that I've learned over the past 10, 15 years of being an independent contractor, being a freelancer and one of the best platforms that I've utilized when it comes to, you know, gig apps and making money is TaskRabbit. I love it. I'm still on it. I'm still making money there. But, you know, I'm starting to shift more towards my consulting, my media content and, um, you know, my sales and marketing services and skills that I've also acquired over the years of, you know, doing corporate sales, software sales, uh digital marketing consulting around uh video production work and actually doing video production work so it only makes sense that i put my experience to use but that's also what i've done with task rabbit and that's also how i have been able to make quite a bit of money through task rabbit and that's also why i'm sharing this story about a 40 year old mover who went from working six jobs to earning 109 thousand dollars in a year on task rabbit and of course my friends if you guys don't want to you know stick around for me reading it i have a link to the article down below so you guys can check out the article on your own and you don't have to ride along with me as i kind of throw in my two cents here and there and read this story but i did want to make sure i share it with you guys because i don't think enough people realize the potential you have with making money on TaskRabbit. Before joining TaskRabbit in March of 2020, Kingsley worked six jobs. It was better than the alternative. In 2018, the professional mover was homeless in Austin, Texas, two years after immigrating with his family from Nigeria to Oklahoma City. He was trying to save money for housing so his family, still in Oklahoma, could make the 360-mile trek south to join him but he had to hustle. Animali had a full-time job at a Lexus dealership, ran a small garage organizing company, and worked sporadic gigs with Uber, Amazon, DoorDash, and Grubhub. Along the way, he amassed enough money to afford housing. First, an apartment in 2019, and then a house in 2020. But even then, he still had to work multiple jobs until last year when he made $108,592 as a mover and furniture assemblyman on TaskRabbit, according to documents reviewed by CNBC, Make It. Business hasn't stopped since. During this inflation period, work doesn't slow. Animeli 40 tell CNBC make it. I don't feel anxious when I don't have something to do because I've been able to save for the rainy day. But there are costs. Anyameli says he works 50 to 60 hours per week to earn those six figures. Here's how he built his task rabbit business from the ground up. Now my friends, I love the fact that it jumped into this and it and it let you know you can make good money on task rabbit but you also need to grind and put in the work. And they're letting you know right from the rip that it isn't easy, but it's possible, right? And they, they've they reviewed legit documents. So they see, they know, hey, this brother ain't, he, there's no lie here, no joke. This is official. You can make good money on TaskRabbit. And my friends, really quickly, I thought this would be a great time where I can let you know I will be releasing an ebook that you can purchase 
to help you get started here on TaskRabbit as well. Maybe you've already been on the platform for a year, two years, three years, and you're like, hey, I don't get it. Why aren't I making any money? Well, this ebook will hopefully help you move in the right direction, hopefully help you get the pointers that you need to make the money that you want to make. I know you're hearing these stories about taskers making a hundred thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, seventy thousand dollars, and you aren't making that money yet. Something isn't clicking. Well, hopefully this ebook will help you get the answer that you're looking for. So building a career as a mover. Animali had never worked with his hands before immigrating to the US, he says. A certified accountant, he oversaw brand and image development for a Nigerian mayor. That's crazy that he doesn't even have legit certified, you know, professional experience with any moving companies, but he was able to get on TaskRabbit and start doing his thing as a mover and making some pretty good money, as you guys have heard. In Oklahoma, he refashioned himself as a mover. He changed careers partially because it meant spending more time with family and partially because it was readily available work. Grades in school made me feel like I never needed those physical skills. But coming here, the game was different, Animali says. I didn't see myself working for someone or being in the corporate world. I wanted to have time with my family. After working some local gigs, a series of jobs led him to Austin, where he stayed with an employer for two weeks and saved up $2,300 to buy a used Nissan Altima. But Austin, where the median monthly rent for a three-bedroom apartment is $4,649, according to Apartments.com, wasn't initially affordable. Sometimes, Animali slept in hotels or crashed with friends. On days when he didn't have jobs lined up, he slept in the car. This is America. Nobody put you on their couch forever, he says. Hustling for an American dream. In 2018, Animali started his own garage organizing company. Business was slow at first, so he worked as an Uber driver and an Amazon, DoorDash, and Grubhub delivery man. Combined with his job at the Lexus dealership, those gigs earned him roughly $60,000 per year. By December 2018, he'd cobbled together enough to rent an apartment for him and his family. But renting wasn't the goal, so Animali continued working multiple jobs to start saving for a house. It took him about a year. He closed on a newly built home in January 2020. Joining TaskRabbit two months later didn't immediately pay off. Animali earned just $37,000 from the platform in his first year. But he picked up handyman skills on the job that eventually helped him earn more clients and charge steeper prices, leading him to quit his other jobs in October 2020. Before I started on TaskRabbit, I had never mounted a TV, he says. Now I can mount 10 in an hour. Many of the services I offer started as skills I picked up on different TaskRabbit jobs and this is pretty cool because i already know i'm missing out on so much money because i don't offer mounting yet but if i learn that one skill set ooh we could be a game changer for someone like myself as well as animali as he's already mentioned using reputation to charge premium prices huh i haven't even read this part but i feel like i'm like wait hold up like did, did he read my ebook before my, my book before i released it because Animali says he takes on about 60 projects per month on TaskRabbit, and his five-star reputation on the platform allows him to charge premium prices starting at $70 per hour. I'm going to throw in my two cents in a, in, a, in a bit, in a bit. Recently, he suffered from an algorithm change, he says. TaskRabbit used to rank its search results by highest reviews, but now it ranks them by lowest price. Now you have to go to a third page to even find me, he says, but I understand. And I also have the choice to reduce my prices to pick up more jobs. A TaskRabbit spokesperson acknowledged the algorithm changed in an email exchange with CNBC Make It. 
Overall, we are working to provide the best match possible between taskers looking for work and clients looking for help. We do this by ensuring tasks are distributed effectively across our tasker community so that our clients are matched with a tasker who can do the job at a reasonable price and more taskers are able to receive more opportunities to earn money. Through the first eight months of 2020, Animali still made nearly $60,000 off TaskRabbit. He's investing most of that money back into his garage organizing business, largely because he doesn't have to spend on TaskRabbit marketing and advertising, he says. Before TaskRabbit, I was making just enough to keep things in motion, but not enough to save or invest. He hopes to dedicate more time scaling the garage business in 2023. Looking ahead, he says he wants to start integrating his TaskRabbit skills with the type of work he used to do back in Nigeria. Ideally, he wants to make money helping people understand how to operate new technology, which may eventually replace manual labor. This morning, I helped someone change a window screen. Even if a machine could eventually do that work, you'll still need a human to set up the machine. So I love this story, you know, coming here to the U.S., trying to give his family a new life, opportunities, a chance and doing whatever, you know, he has to date to do to, to get them there. You know, I love it. It's awesome. It's motivational. It's encouraging. It's inspiring. And it's the type of, you know, story I think more people need to hear especially when it comes to platforms like TaskRabbit and the uh, opportunity that exists there. His story also really was great in the fact that it shows he's tried numerous other similar, quote unquote, similar gig apps or platforms to make a living and they haven't come remotely close. You know, in fact, he's had to work on multiple apps, platforms with businesses to make a portion of what he's making on this one platform that speaks volume that's huge um his story also touched on the fact that he had learned quite a bit on the platform while working on various jobs possibly working with other taskers and was able to then use his newfound skills to ask for more money to charge a higher rate because he was acquiring a new skill set, but also was improving his skill set, his skills in that skill set, which allowed him to, you know, get booked more, but make more money. He also touched on, you know, the algorithm changes that TaskRabbit could potentially, you know, throw at you and how it can negatively impact your business, depending on who you are and, you know, where your rates are and, um, and how he has um, attempted to deal with it, you know, and, 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 and what else he's doing. So I just, as a whole, I like this um, this story, um, uh, this brother has been able to do some some great things and um, is continuing to strive to to do more great things, especially, you know, um, provide for his family and, um, and and help others and give back. So this is pretty awesome. And I'm, I'm glad I, I came across this story and I'm sharing it with you guys. If you guys thought it was motivational, encouraging, inspiring, helpful or, you know, anything of the sort, definitely smash that thumbs up button. And also let me know if there was anything that I, I read that I touched on that I said um, that you thought was relevant or that resonated with you or that you think could be helpful with other taskers that people, you know, you don't think about enough when it comes to your own task rabbit business. I mean, do you even think about it as a business? Because it is a business. And that's what I'm trying to get a lot of you guys out there to think, start to act. You know, the more you can do so, the better off you're going to be in the long run. I mean, uh, just just from a, a, a financial standpoint, the money that you can save when you act like a business and are a business compared to just an individual, right? And I'm not saying you literally need to form an LLC, even being a sole proprietorship and independent contractor, which you are, you can still act like a business. But if you want to see more videos that will help you with making money on TaskRabbit or other ways to make money, but then also managing that money and then growing that money, consider checking out this video next. Peace. What are you still here for? Go watch that video.